the material is irrelevant. It's just that there happens to be the material that I use. You take an ordinary material like wire and you give it a new definition. That's all. Learning and education were a really key in Ruth's life. They were what made her life very vital and dynamic and she knew that art making for individuals and families and communities could really be life changing and life enriching. For Ruth Asawa, art and learning went hand in hand. It was all about art making. When I was in, in the camp in Arkansas, we had our fortunes told. So I was told that I probably should be an artist. The ethos that she had was forged very deeply from her own extraordinary experiences. If you take a material, you like to know how far you can take it from what it's traditionally known to do, like a piece of paper. You like to take it another step, and you find that you can go from two dimension to three dimension. That interests me. For Ruth, what she learned was that art making was about more than simply creating objects to put in the world. As a process, as a practice for individuals, it can be transformative. It's something to have within everybody's life. The truth is, I think so many people have these stories that are completely extraordinary and they don't know it because it's just their life. But I'm curious to know where it will take me and it may be something very different from anything you ever imagined. The first work being uncrated and then being drawn up towards the ceiling was an extraordinary milestone. For such a momentous moment to be so light and perfect and simple, it was incredible and it was a moment of feeling like as able to respect what Ruth Asawa had done to be able to present it and spark up people's minds, hopefully in the way that it sparked my thinking when I first saw them.